Hey everyone, and welcome to my exotic gear guide on Dauntless. My name is Azavar, and I'm a Dauntless partner. This video was made in June 2019, just after the Dauntless cross-platform launch. This video will show the six exotic pieces of gear and explain how to get them. Okay, let's get into it. So far in the game we have six exotic pieces of gear that each have a very unique effect. They are not necessarily the best pieces of gear in the game, but if its unique effect is used well, then they can be very strong. To obtain the blueprint drop that allows you to then craft the gear, you can do heroic and heroic plus patrols, which give you a small chance to earn a random blueprint each time you complete the patrol. Or you can pursue the specific behemoth that the item is aligned to, which I'll now explain. Two exotic blueprints can be found from specifically pursuing a heroic charog, the Skull Forge, and the Molten Edict. The Skull Forge is a fire elemental piece of headgear. Its unique effect is that 1.5% of all damage dealt becomes a stamina shield, up to a maximum of 50 that depletes first when spending stamina. This buff goes away after 5 seconds of not dealing damage. So essentially, this is extra stamina. I notice a massive benefit with this helmet if I use the sword combo of heavy attack heavy attack, and then repeated light attacks. Also, you have the Molten Edict, which is a fire hammer. Its unique effect is that it replaces all hammer blasts with shooting out giant fireballs. Next we have the Prismatic Grace and the God Hand Blueprints that drops from the Rezakiri fight. The Prismatic Grace is a Radiant Helmet, its unique effect is after reviving another player, you grant them a Radiant Prism that blocks incoming damage for 5 seconds. The first time that you take lethal damage you gain a Radiant Prism that blocks incoming damage for 10 seconds. While this is active, if you revive another player, you will fully restore both players health but it removes the prism. The Rezakiri also has the God Hand Blueprint, which is a Radiant Warpike. Its unique effect is that its special shoots a Radiant Beam that deals increasing damage up to 200% the longer that it's channeled. The last two blueprints drop from the Shroud, the Hunger and the Tragic Echo. The Hunger is an Umbral Sword, its unique effect is called Feast, which makes you take damage over time, but you gain significant lifesteal, attack speed, and you create area of effect damage too. Here you can see the Skull Forge helmet and the Hunger working well together. The Skull Forge with its extra stamina and the Hunger in Feast mode. The Shroud also drops the Tragic Echo Blueprint, which is an Umbral Helmet. Its unique effect is, upon your first death, you become a Shadow Clone that deals 100% increased damage for 15 seconds. That about wraps it up for the six exotics in the game at the minute. 
Again, you can get any of these blueprints from any Heroic or Heroic Plus Patrol, or you can pursue and farm a specific behemoth if you have your heart set on a particular piece of gear. Just keep in mind that if you do patrols, you'll be gaining bonus crafting items and arc stones as well. Thank you for watching my exotic gear guide on Dauntless. Hopefully this video helps you in some way and you found it useful. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell. If you want to catch me on a live stream and hunt some behemoths together, make sure to follow me on Twitch TV. Twitch TV name is Azavar. If you enjoy the content and you want to support me as a content creator, you can use Epic Creator Code Azavar when making any purchase on the Epic Games Store. I also have other Dauntless content on YouTube as well, if you'd like to check that out. You can find me on social medias and in the game as Azavar. If you want to say hello, I will leave the links in the description to this video. And until next time, take care.